Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 28th of September to the 4th of October 2020. Just before we hand over to our lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the dream car competition. Andrew Essex winning not only a brand new BMW X5, but also £50,000. I'd now like to hand over to Rebecca Craigie from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name is Rebecca Craigie from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company, Azets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be, will then come together for the group to come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and sadly didn't play this weekend because of the atrocious weather. Hi, uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years. First as a player and then as a referee. Good morning, my name's Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Hi, I'm Renee Hector and I play for Watford FC Women and I'm a coach for Tottenham Hotspur Foundation. My name's Liam Walsh. I'm a retired referee after 23 years. I'm currently a referee observer and head academy coach for the Middlesex referees. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and am now a senior county referee. Good morning. My name's Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been a Supply League match official for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Judges. Please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, good morning, all. Morning. 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 So I'll think we'll go up from this player. Very narrow band from this guy. Okay, so there's quite a, a small seg, uh, segment in the middle here. Um, as we can see from the, the average, it's in the middle of the majority of our choices. Um, we've, got some, uh, we've got one higher up and a couple lower down. Um, one thing I'd say with this guy's eye, I think it does show him looking directly above. And with this average is obviously a selected average of all 10 of our choices. Um, and because we're so closely packed, uh, I feel that the lower cross and certainly the upper cross are sort of skewing it slightly. This 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 grey cross is taking that average will only be a, a, an ever so slight uh, distance away. Um, but it's see if I remove the grey cross, which I think is Liam's, it brings it further up into the group. Um, and I think that's quite important. Um, we've got the, the green cross at the top and the purple cross at the bottom. 
Um, and if I was then to carry on and remove uh, these two, which I think is Nigel, it just settles back into really where it was before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so really, um, I will go with um, Nigel, you're the highest. Is that, your, is that right? I think so, yes. Yeah. And then Kieran, you're the lowest. Um, as I said, if I'm going to hover over this to highlight it next to the, the other choice, I think, which is Andy's, and I will remove Nigel and Kieran again. And it ever so slightly takes it up into a position. And if I highlight, put the highlighter on the ball, it encompasses all of the other choices of the seven choices completely within the centre of the ball. Um, and I think, again, that, that's important with our choices to make sure that all the choices are within the centre. Um, has anyone any thoughts well, I, th I, I think that we should, uh, as, as we are so many, uh, I feel that we should keep all the, unless there, there's really someone that's complete, completely off the, uh, the radar, which more or less every, everybody has, uh, have, I might say, have, have a point uh, on, on the crosses that, 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 that they did. I think we should keep it everyone. Yeah, but as I said, if, if, we, if we take uh, Liam's choice, uh, I'll put mm -hmm. it back in again, it does make it go exponentially quite a few pixels to the left. And it is what would I describe as an outlier. I, it's it's without, the, without this group. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think I'm going to take a, a, a panel decision. We are closest and we haven't justified our positions, I think, because... Yeah. We're all yeah, very, very, very... Um, very close to, to yeah. each other, anyway. Um, Liam, yeah, the, the only one that is really slightly off is the Leon, Leon Cross uh, that comes... Uh, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I mean... Even the, the purple, the purple, it's still, it's still close over the... Um, yes, but if, as I said, if I, if I go over the top of the average, it is without... It's without it's the outside of the magnifier so mm. it is an outlier i mean liam i mean you're you're that we're talking about your cross and removing it you're the lowest of us all um have you got anything to try and um justify my position is the word you're looking for i think matt is it? <laughs> well not necessarily justify your position <laughs> but uh, to justify why we should keep you in um which obviously has a an impact on where the okay. the average is yeah. Okay. So if you could put the little circle thing, oh, actually on my on my X, please. So my take on it was very simple: that the ball's dropping, um, and the, the guy's looking at the ball. But I just put a bit of judgment in there that the, you know, the, the ball's going to hit his forehead. It's not going to hit his eyes. So if, you look at, if you look at where that where that net is now going to drop, that's going to drop smack bang onto his forehead. Because I'm looking, my perception of it was that the um, playing red was going to. I took the perception that he was going to do a, a little flick on, uh, judging by his, his body language, and and that's why I come to the no where I put it. Fully understand that. Um, but as I said, if I highlight the average now, we have three crosses outside. The magnifier. So, as lead judge, I am going to remove Liam, Kieran, uh, and Nigel, and we're going to have a panel vote on leaving this um, average with judging with the three of us being removed. So, Ari, um, your judging, please. Well, the way it is, it's so compact that I I, I agree with this. Yeah. This okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Leo. No, I agree. I, I think it makes sense, Matt. Yeah. Rennie? Yeah, I'm happy with it there. Okay. Liam? Yeah, I'll go with the majority. The panel. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Kieran? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to leave it there. Yeah. Andy? Yeah, I'm correct with that. Yeah. Nigel? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Anna? Yeah, I'm happy with, it, with that also. Great. Thank you. And lastly, Hugh? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Last okay. together. So we've come to a panel decision um, to judge at average uh, with the three um, judges, Nigel, Liam, and Kieran being removed. Rebecca, um, I shall click submit. Thank you, judges. 
The coordinates selected are 1, 3, 4, 8 and 8, 0, 3. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company ASETS to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.